Zach Sadin isn't a typical runner. As a freshman at FSU, Zach hit the ground running with a passion to be the best. From the moment he arrived at FSU, he knew what he wanted to accomplish. That season I had, I had big aims. I was hoping to uh, finish high at NCAAs on, on the track and win, win ACCs. Little did he know that's exactly what he was about to do. Zach won the steeplechase title at the ACC championship and he also posted the third fastest time in FSU history at the Peyton Jordan Invitational. That was pretty special. It was, it was, a, it was a big personal best, so I was happy to do that. It was during the race, <laughs> it was hard, but um, no, when I finished and everyone was happy, I mean, it was really good to me. His time was ranked as the second highest in Division I heading into the postseason, which qualified him for the NCAA championship. I mean, I hadn't been beaten all year in the steel chase by a, a collegiate athlete because they're from the other region. So I was kind of confident, but I was nervous. Like, there were the guys hanging up against, and I knew it was going to be big competition, but I was confident. Zach was among three other national class runners at the NCAA championship. He was confident and thought nothing could keep him from winning. I mean, I started, it was a fast, fast start, and I was just, there was three of us, and then we went to 2K, I was running till 2, 2K. So I started to just run easy, look, at, look around and stuff. He was comfortable the entire race like he always is. And you know, he has one of the best water jumps in the country in my opinion, and he took his eye off of it. And yeah, you know the rest, so. The freshman was too comfortable in the steeplechase. One stumble, one slip can be the difference between a first place finish and an agonizing defeat. So I jumped up, I slipped. I fell. All I remember is I realized I was gonna fall, like just as it happened, and I thought, is this really me <laughs> that's gonna fall, you know? Because I see people do it and I just didn't think I'd do it. And I saw him hit and fall, and all I did was just start screaming, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, because we had, you know, basically two laps to go, and he was good enough to take a fall like that, get up and still qualify for the final. Um, but you look back on it, and you see how hard a fall it was. It's, I mean, he was completely underwater, face down, uh, hit his head. We were really uh, lucky he didn't have a concussion. So he came out, had no momentum, and just wasn't able to pull it off. Got back up, and they were the last two laps were um, pretty hard, to be honest. And then, yeah, I was pretty, pretty sad the rest of the way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't qualify. But Zach didn't let his slip up keep him down. The freshman picked himself up and prepared to make a comeback. I mean, I, I wasn't gonna stop, but uh, took a couple of days off. Just, you know, I, I wanted to get back running. So, you know, the, the sooner I do well in something else, the sooner I forget about it. So that was good for me. And I had European juniors, so just turned all my focus to that. Zach was given another opportunity to prove himself. And that's exactly what he did. Over the summer, Zach won the steeplechase title at the European Junior Championship. That was awesome, you know. It was uh, after the Nationals, I, I needed to win, so. This victory not only gave Zach back his confidence, but it gave him strength and courage to come back this season with new hopes and goals. My ultimate goal would be an All-American on the cross country. I feel if I get everything right, training right, racing right, you know, I can hit that. Also, my goals are for the team to do well. I, I really want my team to do well, and I believe we can. Because of his maturity, dedication, and love for the sport, Coach Brayman selected him as one of the team captains this season. I was proud, man. I like the team. It was really good this year. So, yeah, I'm, I like being their captain. He's very personable. The guys in the team like him a lot. So, and he does everything right. Straight kid, you know, gets his rest. He's in the treatment room, you know, twice a day. Um, really dedicated and that above all else sets the example for the younger guys who are now a year younger than he is. Uh, brings a really good positive attitude to practice and I mean that's that's why he's one of our captains. It's six o'clock in the morning and the guy's just full of life. The heart of a champion isn't always defined by stats and trophies. Instead is defined by how one deals with adversity. Zach didn't let his mishap define him. Instead he staged a combat. I'm Martha Hymas for Seminole Sports Magazine.